Good day, fellow learners. Once again, this is your mentor, your fact check buddy Ray Gabos, joining you for another learning teaching session for our analysis of a case. And this time around, we're going to talk about case number 18. And before we proceed, let me ask you to join us in this mission. Our goal is to provide free NCLEX RN application in review to 100 nurses. And to help us achieve this, just watch and finish the ads in our videos. In fact, this year, we have increased our scholarship grants to 300 slots, and we're able to achieve 100 slots for the past two years. And so we've increased it this year. So thank you so much for your very, very kind support. And may I also ask you to share this video to at least 10 of your friends, and we will pay for your success to pass the NGN. Thank you very much in advance for doing so. So let me say also thank you to an anonymous lady who doesn't want to be identified, but she gave 20000 for our scholarship grants. And may you become successful like she is. So to those of you who would want to help our less fortunate brothers and sisters, please get in touch with my office. And of course, you can actually send me a message and our staff would actually get in touch with you, okay? So before we move on to our discussion, let me make this public advisory that Dr. Ray A. Gapus and the mentors of the Ray Gapus system, that's me and my team, are not part of another center named Gapus Review Academy or GRA. So if you want the kind of review that we are providing, look for my full name, that's Ray A. Gapus Review System. So if you don't see us in your class, here are the members of my very dynamic and knowledgeable, and they're all US licensed mentors from the Ray Gapos system Philippines. If you don't see any one of us in your class, it's not a Ray Gapos system class. Actually, we also have a promo, and uh, this is um, created in order to help our nurses. And this is through this program. Get a free review from us if you process your NCLEX on an application with ITAPS GAPUS. So ITAPS is the International Test Applications Processing Service of the Ray GAPUS system. So you get a free review if you process with us. We can process your application faster and at a lesser cost because our package starts at 45000 including processing plus you get a free review. So grab this opportunity, give us a call if you're interested. So like Ms. Aisha Larmi Dominguez, I, uh, who passed the state board of uh, state board exam for the state board of New York last June 7, 2024. And this is what she would wanna share us. I'm grateful to ITAPS Gapus for the hustle-free process of reaching my dream. The staff was approachable and responded to my inquiries promptly. ITAPS Gapus teamed up with the Ray A Gapus review system. I get my USRN last June 7 on the 110th question. Their passion, commitment, and motivation and learning are excellent. To ITAPS Gapus, I am forever grateful. I hope and pray that you may have a never ending list of USRN passers. God bless. Remember at ITAPS Gapus, we process your NCLEX application faster. Now on to our case number 18, but before that, allow me to first and foremost, before I discuss Solinger Ellison syndrome, congratulate Fatima Stephanie Morgigad Alejo from St. Paul University, Philippines to Gigarao City for passing the engine for the State Board of New York last August 15, 2024. And let's learn from her success recipe. Thank you so much, Sir Ray, and to all Ray A. Gapos Review Systems staff, especially sa mga staff ng bootcamp sa Baguio last July 15 onwards. Kahit one month lang po ang review ko, and I remember I just enrolled July 15, 2024 mismo sa bootcamp, and doon pa lang ako as in nag-start mag-aral and maximize my time na dapat one month leave ko is ready na ako. Kahit pa paano for my exam, dahil working po ako as an IC nurse, and one month lang po ang leave ko. July 15, 2024, doon ko pa lang nakuha din yung mga books ko upon enrollment, and hindi pa ako naka-attend ni isang comprehensive review. But, okay, this is a recipe. Only boot camps, some topics on the course shell, and NCLEX 311. Yan lang po ang finokos ko dahil one month lang ang leave and hindi ko pa alam ang RAGRS ko hindi ko pa nakita ang page na nag-offer ng NCLEX review. Plano ko pa sana mag-self-review. Kaya buti pa lang talaga, pero 
nagstand sa akin siyempre ang bootcamp. I remember sa harapan ako nakaupo, malapit sa bintana and focus lang ako kay Sir Ray sa lahat ng lectures and mga uh, and mga lectures niya tuwing nag-check ng test papers. After the bootcamp, binasa ko lahat ng notes ko, all my handouts during the bootcamp with all my test papers and analyze the concepts. And two days before the exam, I finished my book, NTLEX T11. Yan po ang nagamit ko for my one-month review. That's her success recipe. You may want to emulate her. Okay? And para sa akin, hindi ko lahat ito magagawa at makakaya without the presence of God and prayers po talaga. Okay? And she says, action and lots of prayers and believing that God will provide and believing that you can do it eventually will lead you to what you prayed for. While I'm on my way to Armstrong Building, I kept on praying until I reached the venue. And when I sat and started my exam, my anxiety fades away. And if I am discombobulated with some questions uh, discombobulated means it's like your brain is twisted okay because you are unable to understand the concepts okay with some questions i just deep breathe and call the name of jesus saint Mary, saint jude and Padre Pio. i'm not in a hurry to answer my exam rather i took my time for each question and understood it very well especially in satas and case studies my computer shuts down at 126 after i click my answer on one Question number 126, then boom, it shuts down. Sobrang nahirapan ako sa last part. As in, meron yung kung ano-ano na tinatanong, pero ginawa ko, dinaisek ko each choices, and inapply ko yung concept ko. And that's what we have at Vega System. We teach our learners, we utilize the strategies we teach them, plus the functional concepts method. Grabe as in magaling magtago ng sagot ang way ng pagkakakonstruct ng NCLEX. Pero thanks God and thank you, thanks to you, Sir Ray and the RAGRS family. I made it. All glory belongs to God. That's Miss Fatima Stephanie Magigad Alejo from St. Paul University, Philippines, to Gigarao City. Ah, our congratulations and thank you for sharing your success recipe to our viewers. Okay, and on to our NCLEX Iron Alert for case number. 18, and this is about Sollinger Allison syndromes or ZES. Now, this is actually a tumor that occurs either in the pancreas or the upper part of the small intestines. And these tumors would usually increase the secretion of acids in the GIT. Now, what are the common risk factors to ZES? Remember, FM. First degree relative who have it, like for example, a sibling or your mom or your dad had it. So you are at greater risk for developing ZES. And then multiple endocrine dysplasia type 1. Okay, Your multiple endocrine dysplasia, neoplasia rather, type 1 um, would usually affect the three P's, the pituitary gland, the parathyroid gland, and the pancreas. So PPP pituitary, parathyroid, and the pancreas. Now, there would usually be tumor growths in those organs in the body. There's also multiple endocrine neoplasia type 2 or MEN2 that affects your PTA. P, that's your parathyroid, P, thyroid, and A, adrenal glands. So your clients who have MEN type 1 or MEN1 are more at risk to CES, okay? So your Sollinger Ellison syndrome is manifested by the presence of burning upper abdominal pain that's almost like your peptic ulcer disease. And then heartburn that occurs in clients with GERD, acid reflux, nausea, anorexia, and vomiting, diarrhea, and of course, stomach pain. Now pay particular attention to the three symptoms you have burning upper abdominal pain, acid reflux, and diarrhea. This could tell you that your client could be having ZES, but definitely the symptoms needs to be supported by laboratory data that includes the following blood test for gastrin levels, which will be increased because of the presence of the tumor that stimulates the secretion of gastrin, your ultrasound, that reflects the presence of the tumor, MRI or CT scan, and including your endoscopy. So the treatment for CES would include surgery to remove the tumor and then um, chemotherapy after to prevent the recurrence, like administration of doxorubicin 
to prevent the spread of the tumor or gastrinomas, and then octreotide to counteract the excessive release of gastrin. And of course, your proton pump inhibitors like your pantoprazole or esomeprazole to reduce the acids. Therefore, pay particular attention to these treatment regimens, specifically the drugs, as chances are this could be potential frequently occurring concepts on your test. Okay, so before we proceed to analyze case number 18, let me just share with everyone a very good feedback from Adonis, one of those who passed the test using our book, and this is what he says. Sir, napakalaking tulong ng book mo po, yung latest version ng NCLEX 311 and Pharmacology. Tinanood ko po lahat ng YouTube videos nyo na paulit-ulit din. Dami po lumabas sa mga tinuro nyo. Okay, so anyway... For those of you who have yet to subscribe to this channel, please subscribe after watching this video. So on to our case number 18. Here we go. A 40-year-old male client with inherited tumor of the parathyroid glands. There you go. You have an inherited tumor of the parathyroid gland. So you have men, either type 1 or type 2. Six consult at the emergency department for stomach pain, acid reflux, and diarrhea. You see those three main symptoms that are frequently found in clients with CES. And so the question would go on to ask, the nurse should anticipate the administration of all of the following drugs to manage the client's condition exact. Okay, so doxorubicin, that's a chemotherapeutic agent, lansoprazole and omeprazole are proton pump inhibitors, which are usually given in order to neutralize the excess gastric acids, and of course, definitely ibuprofen is a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory agent that could potentially irritate the stomach lining. So the exception, therefore, is, as you guess it, you're right, ibuprofen. That's the correct answer. So thank you very much for engaging with me. But before we um, end this video, may I invite you to join my 10-day challenge and to pass the NGN through the Quick Fix Bootcamp. And that's gonna be from November 13 to 24, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. And this will be through the new home of the Rig system in Baguio at Mount Crest Hotel. So the 10 day program includes um, the pharmacology books, nursing reminder sheets, NCLEX 311 new edition, the QBank, and limited city, and plus the use of our course shells and our simulation room. So join the hundreds of thousands of pastors, including a 60-year-old who just recently passed the test to our system from 35 countries and counting. Okay, so the choice of nurses from more than 30 countries around the world. So the second important thing that you have to remember, if you want to pass NJN, you've got to learn and master how to study using technology because the questions on the test are presented in a technology-aided learning environment. So here at the Regapo system, our learning tools are published by the world's leading publisher. So we also have our own learning management system that are updated monthly. And like other learning management systems that are available um, in the market that are very static, which means the content hasn't really changed since XYZU World Archer, okay? so. We also have a very conducive environment that would keep your focus because we limit our number of students in our class. So our class size are actually very comfortable. And we have our NGN simulator in our simulation room, which you can use for free. So may I invite you to join me in my next generation NPLEX RN Plex, the most flexible test prep class for the NPLEX RN, your choice of live face-to-face -face class, live virtual class, on-demand and limited video recorded lessons, and the review fee starts at 3,499, including days of our Cuba, my three books, and my strategies, plus quick fix session and mentoring on a personalized one-on-one -on -one level. So join me in my next quick fix. That's going to be um, on October 1, 2, and 3, 2024. I'll see you. So once again, this is your mentor, your fact check by the Ray Gapos, saying thank you so much, and I'll see you in our next video. Till next time. Thank you, colleagues.